Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, we are currently sat waiting for Connor to get here in his Mark VI Fiesta ST. While we're doing that, while we are waiting for him to turn up, I will just say, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like. Tell me what you think of this sort of video. Um, we'll wait for him to turn up and uh, I'll jump back when we are sat in his car, hopefully. There's always something that stops us from uh, doing our thing. These poor horses. So, I don't know what to say. No. I, I, I just <laughs> lose it all. I just lose it all. My camera's really dark as well. Just like hitting, hitting the like the limiter thing, or uh, there's like your here sort of thing. The limiter will catch it at like three and a half revs. Like that. Yeah. And then you'll let it. say about these cars obviously they're fun and all but it is really really expensive to yeah the fuel get like, any power yeah Not, that's the thing yeah like the power like you've got a turbo that's like three three grand right there into the yeah. power on it but I think they're, they're quite quick for what they are without a turbo yeah but then I think they're just fun they're like a little go-kart really you know like yeah. they just go the, yeah these are like one 150 standard aren't they yeah mine's so, running about 171 yeah. Has it been remapped? Did you say? Or? Uh, no, it went, it went in for a remap. Uh, but they couldn't do anything. No, they, they couldn't. It was off the road for like two weeks. Yeah. They went through what, three ECUs, I think. Yeah. yeah so it was quite. That's quite a stressful two weeks of a car. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Like a little frog. Scrape in the back there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's normal. That is. Yeah. It sort of goes for well without a turbo. It feels like it picks up really well without yeah. a turbo. It is really good, but I think with a turbo that would just be immense. Yeah. It's so light as well, and just. There's like, nothing to it really, is there? No. But, nothing to these little cars. Yeah. Have you driven the Mark 8, uh, the Mark 7? Yeah, I've driven the Mark 7 and the Mark 8. I've test drove the Mark 8 yeah. as well, yeah. But that, the Mark 7 compared to this, obviously, obviously the turbo when the turbo kicks in is nuts. Alright, so we've pulled over right now. We're just going to do a little bit of a talk about what's happened to this car and obviously there isn't really much done to it. Not a lot, no. But it's a fun little weapon to just hoon around the back roads, I guess. Yes, yeah, like daily as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you've just heard obviously little clips of it popping and banging. The only thing that does that is, do you want to explain? Ah, uh, it's just the Omex limiter. It's an Omex rev limiter, um, which you said you had set to three and a half? Yeah, three and a half k. Three yeah. and a half k, which obviously you get the push button to get launch control, um, and then you have got the normal rev limiter. Yeah. which I, I sort of know how to I think set. It, up. Start, it starts at like six and a half. Then, yeah. So it don't hit the red line. Yeah. But, um, yeah. If say on the Omex, if you set the rev limiter higher than the standard car rev limiter, will yeah. it go over that? Um, I'm not. I haven't really looked into it. To be honest. No. I just sort of set. I brought it up a bloke and he said. So the thing is to set up three and a half and then you'll get them bangs. Yeah. And then set it just before red line so you don't blow your car up something. So yeah. 
Yeah. But yeah, that it works, it works perfectly fine. <laughs> that's, that's the bit that's the that thing. got me. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're now going to do is we're going to get some rolling shots of him flying past, hopefully hearing them pops and bangs, hoping my camera will pick it up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll jump back when we've got that sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get them angles. <laughs> We'll just we'll say it now. Um, it's basically just got a straight through decal, hasn't it? Yeah, straight through decal. Yeah, which isn't as loud as I thought it would be. Um, and then the Omex rev limiter is lowered as well, which is it lowered on core levels? Yeah, it's yeah. Sort of just the lowest you can go on the core level. Yeah. Hopefully, some of the rolling shots will show how low this car actually sits. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be all we're filming. Might get a few little um, shots when we park it back up. But I'm going to end the video here and um, make sure obviously you check out everyone's links. Everyone that I've been with today's links will be in the description. Um, so thank you to obviously Connor for taking me out in his car. Um, and we will see you in the next one. So yeah. <laughs>